interesting to see what's going on there. Dayball's going to – he he's doing with what he can with what he has, but he's going to be able to kind of really mold this team into what he wants moving forward with that cap, I feel like. And, you know, obviously draft picks and all that other stuff. So it'll be, it'll be really interesting to see where they move uh, forward with and how, how well – like if this is just about to be a – the Giants are just about to be a problem from here on out. Well, like, and it wouldn't shock know, I'm sure it it'll go a little you. up and down for the rest of this season. If but. they lost four games in a row, would you be shocked? Exactly. Hey, would you be <laughs> as shocked as you are that they just won four out of five? You know, I, let, uh, I would be shocked if they dropped four in a row to me because I just feel like they're just being coached and schemed and and he's got them believing and the defense is pretty decent. I mean, it it really is just reminiscent of these Titans. It's always some crooked number, some weird score. Low scoring game. Got Saquon running the Wildcat now. They lost Daniel Jones <laughs> yeah. last week, and they just were like, yeah, we'll just put Saquon back here. Right. We're right. all right. Uh, you know, got a couple of decent offensive linemen, but we haven't really, you know. I know you probably don't want to stay on the Giants that long, but they played the Titans, who couldn't get out of their own way for a couple of weeks, mm-hmm. week one. Then they beat the Panthers. Right. You know, which ain't hard to do. No. Just lost their coach. It's so easy to beat them. Yeah. Then they beat the, the Cowboys. No, they lost, lost to the, to the Cowboys. Cowboys by seven. Right. And then six. Um, six. So, and then they beat the Bears. Beat who, the Bears. Outside of the Panthers are the worst team in the league. Almost beat the Vikings you know? this week. And beat the Niners. The, well, it's true. I'm just Bears. So, Fugazi for sure. And beat the, uh, and beat and the Packers. Just beat in the London. Packers in London. So, I mean, you know, three out of their four W's so far is yeah. against terrible. Like, Titans are coming around, but they started off horrible, but, you mm-hmm. know. And so they, you know, they just beat the that's that's their like that's their game right. that's their hang your hat on game so far they beat the packers you know game cox just beat kentucky but the qu- <laughs> quarterback was out you know so like that's your the first round yeah first, first round, round levis i mean like quarterback you, you, was you, out. you hang your hat on that game because you went on the road and you won but the quarterback was out like aaron Rodgers was in he didn't get hurt mm-hmm. and you beat the packers yeah so the giants are i mean obviously they're rolling well, you well, we like can't what you're we can't leave the Giants without talking about Saquon. Yeah, all right. He's the reason they're uh, the catalyst into this thing. He's, he's the engine. RB three right now. I don't. Yeah, I don't have the overall. I got a, I got the fantasy pros pulled up. PPR. He's he was one. They RB1. don't have. I don't think they have week five updated. They don't. So. They, he was week one going into week five here, and I don't know. He my fantasy a ton league of points is like week. the best place to find. You just fucking go to updated stats leagues. where you can actually get points per game too yep, sorted. You just gotta like go to one of your leagues and yep. sort through. You just got to figure out if you're going to go pro- tight end premier or, or not. As far as right, you know, right standings. And RB three behind Eckler and Chubb. He is averaging twenty one point one points a game, which is good for fourth. Just having a fantastic year right now. Uh, where do you guys want to go with this discussion? Should we? Talk a little. I mean, I guess you know, buy, sell, hold, dynasty trades. You want to rank them against some I, I don't guys? Know how much how buy, you sell, feeling? hold you can do with Saquon because it's really like if you're bad, I guess you could move off of Saquon if you're rebuilding. Obviously, and if you're, and if you're good, you hang on and ride ride the wave. Obviously, and what's what's interesting maybe is you know wh- how you, looking ahead to next year. Where do you think where do you think Saquon would be in your startup or or what running backs like is he is he back to rb rb1 rb2 status or is it just going to be a hair too old to be in front of jt and uh you know i guess it seems like Brees will m- maybe be up there and and the uh Bijan yeah. will seemingly automatically just yeah i mean we'll leap right into there barkley would be too old to be in front of jonathan taylor for me um or Brees. I, yeah, that too probably. Uh, would would Brees coming on strong and, and on keep trade cut? He's vaulted all the way up to RB two ahead of Brees behind JT. Who Saquon? Well, that's probably it's wild. More, that's more of a retrade. Uh, I mean, a redraft. No, it's the dynasty rankings. Yeah, you get you get called in the moment, bro. Yeah, yeah you for put, sure. Put for somebody. Sure. You you you're in you're in you're in week five right now. Saquon's crushing. Keep trade cut all you want to, but you get all, after the year and you get Keep into startup. Trade cut all you want you, to. You, you look at a guy who's twenty two. You look at a guy who's twenty six. It's, it's not even. Well, close. and and Brees is uh, you know hadn't picking up steam. Right. Brees, baby. Brees right. is going like this, whereas yeah. that crowd source data hasn't quite mm-hmm. like it, by week. If Brees keeps the going, or he, even if he doesn't, yeah, no, which it is, it only, and if, yeah. if Brees keeps, even if he doesn't, that's it's gonna eventually catch up, and Brees is gonna be just fine. I mean, we just saw what Brees can be, what Brees can do. And we've been seeing him get the usage, get ramped up more and more every week. So, you know, probably safely behind Brees 
Um, Javante coming off of off an injury, tumbling, tumbling, but still a good. Saquon will be twenty six coming into next year. Christian McCaffrey will be a year older than I think. Believe Christian's a year older than Saquon Barkley. Um, yeah, and I mean you know, obviously depending on what type of style you wanted to come in with, the twenty seven year old Eckler and the twenty six year old Dalvin for the most part didn't tumble too far this year. So Saquon's right, you know playing fantastic so i mean you got a 26 year old saquon next year i mean back into the first round are you taking saquon probably not yeah it seems, I, seems I, you know it's 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 a, but but second round that's where you were taking him that's where i was taking him this year and he's what, well in the back into the first round back into the second round oh well that's yes yeah, i get it well i mean you were you were probably you were driving that ADP I don't think up. Saquon, <laughs> I don't think Saquon was in the in the second round of many Don, uh, dynasty startups this year. Maybe not. Maybe third. Especially like full point PPR and you give a tight end premium and it's like I just, yeah. I don't think he was certainly in not too super many flex, of the second but I, rounds. Yeah. Soup for me. It's for certainly sure. not super flex. Middle that, of the second round all day long for Saquon. Yeah, we had that discussion and uh, you know here he is. He showed back up. Right back where he's been. Crushing. So for me, you know end of the first round probably does get a little rich and it's it's been harder and harder to really say let's get heavy and and aggressive on the running backs but i think right now depending on how this year ends and goes if the ecklers and the dalvin cooks and they're all tumbling that, 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 that's that's the thing I mean, well, ecklers if, if that, wilding out right I now guess but. If that, well i guess more or less what i'm saying with that class is if that class can kind of stay healthy and scoring a bunch of fantasy points this year it would sort of buck a trend a little bit of where yep. the 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 arrow's been pointing down for that for the fantasy points that that older regime had been scoring true um so that, that, that could help the overall running back standings uh mm -hmm. potentially out there so but you would probably you guys would be out on saquon in the second round well just no. i mean no I, mm -mm. like Superflex or not, I mean, super, you know, throw Superflex out the window for a second. Mm -hmm. Even still, like into the first round, you got to get past. You you talking about maybe buying a twenty six year old running back who's had major problems in the past with injuries, and yeah. if he if he if he has a fantastic season this year, which he's on pace to be in, you know, top three RB, like you're still trying to buy. Like you got to get you you got. He's an unrestricted free agent. Did y'all discuss that at all? In that type of situation, you're gonna have no who's player. who's a guy, you know a waddle. Are you going to are you going to invest in the first round at the end of the first take round? Waddle, but are you going to take Barkley or are you going to take the 23-ish year old Waddle? Well, I think Waddle's going to be jumping up into the first round. I know, but I'm saying but you only got so many spots to be at right. the end of the first round before you're out, you know, cuz mm -hmm. you still got you got Chase, you got Waddle, um you got Jefferson obviously. So those are your for, and then um then you got CD Lamb, are you taking CD Lamb or are you taking well, let's so, just say if he's the if it's not super flex and he's the RB four basically in rankings. You taking take take a Saquon over Drake London? Um, you know, are you taking Saquon over Garrett Wilson? Yeah, for sure. Okay, because there's I mean just the wide receiver plentiful argument, you know, because you just keep. Well, it'd be it'd be di like Diggs if St. Brown keeps up the trajectory that he's at. St. Brown would certainly be up in that second round. If St. Brown can get back healthy and he can go back and score 20-something points, he's way up there. Right, that's like what I'm saying. saying you know, A.J. Yeah. Brown's basically re-solidified himself as AJ being up Brown, in there. That was who I was looking for a minute ago, and I was blanking on his name. But so but yeah, yeah, I mean, you, 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 there's going to be a hefty – there's going to be 10 to so you, 15 wide receivers. But that's what Devontae, I'm, Diggs, and Cooper Cup are probably all going to continue to slide. slide back a little bit. No matter how good they do, they right. have to. You're not take, I'm not taking any of those wide receivers over Saquon probably. And all those if guys are going to probably year. jump Debo. Yeah. So, because you know, so you got a couple of younger running backs who are going to be in front of Saquon. You got a couple of stud wide receivers, and you know, so I mean, I, maybe maybe you can keep. You know, we got a plenty of season before we had to figure out who's first round startup pick next year. So but, test the waters where we're yeah. at now. All right, all right. I, I, I it seems like maybe the Giants could could be a, a pretty strong candidate to bring back Saquon. They got the for cap what, for what he's doing, and they got the cap. And and if Dayball thinks that he's a part of what they're doing, I could see him saying, "Yeah, let's let's not pay him." stupid stupid money but let's give him a you know a nice little contract yeah it, and it, i mean if i'm saquon i'll go whoever's giving me the most money go get stupid money go get yeah. the most guaranteed money fuck I can all get. these dudes get I, your money man you know hey you do the, get i guess he does have like a lot of endorsement opportunity being in new york i guess is like part of the appeal i, I would assume that there's probably a, a little bit more market seo for fucking new york yeah but it's it's 2022 i mean you guys if you're if it's you're true. 
If you're a star, you're everybody a star. knows. So wow, the NFL won't already. let these boys get like beer deals, but they sell it at all their fucking games, and they got Budweiser <laughs> as a true? sponsor. Yeah, they can't have. That. There's like no sponsorships for beer. Saquon leaves the Giants. I mean, it's hard to say, but I, a- anywhere he goes, he's, he's more interest. Be. He's almost more interesting to me on the Giants than I, mean, I wouldn't say any other team, but most other teams. I mean, you love players with day ball, right? You, I mean, they not they're not going to go and bring in four stud receivers in one year, one calendar year, you know? So at a, at a minimum, he's, st- if they, if they, if he stays, he got paid, but you know, it's basically, he's in that spot where no matter where he's at, he just got a big contract for yeah. somebody. So you're not paying a ride a running back Saquon Barkley money to not Tonight, use right. Saquon Barkley. Right, 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 right. So the opportunity is going to be there no matter where he's at. But I, I mean, yeah, if he's a part of this turnaround right here with Dayball and the Giants, if, enjoy have seeing him be there. If you were losing, what would be the price tag? Especially in the second year of the season, because now he don't have to go learn a new offense. Right, right. And he's been there with the coach because Dayball. Oh, maybe the maybe the offense does do a little bit of upgrading of, of I, how they run things, but it's the, the base it. of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He Matt, he's bringing in my, the second page of that yellow right. pad. <laughs> right, but it, but Saquon knows the first page already yeah. instead of going somewhere else. So I get it. What would be the price to sell if you were rebuilding and wanted to get rid of Saquon? Good question. Strong question. Way to get us wrapped up with this guy. It's got to be. It's got to be more than a twenty-three first. It's got to right? be two firsts for me right now at at at, at minimum. The pace that he's or going. Or some a, a first round pick. I, I would. The what I would be looking for is two different things, two different combos. A, a a first round pick from the worst team in the league, or a bottom projected bottom four maybe. A quote unquote the worst team in the league. Like I guaranteed, put me in that two, top one, two, three discussion of running of, of rookies. Um, and then somebody fun ish to for cherry on top because Saquon's crushing right now. Olave and Saquon get it done for you. Olave, Olave in the first, first, rather. Olave in the worst team in the leagues first. Uh, let's just yeah, probably bottom, not getting, bottom bottom four. Sure, but they're not going to sell that pick, right? You're probably not getting a, an we're, early we're, first. It can be done. We're talking hypothetical. We're talking hypothetical. And but the bottom the bottom team could be a team who had, who had a bunch of injuries, and or could be an idiot, or could be the just bottom never. team. Doesn't always grasp that they're the bottom team. They also I literally sold Saquon Barkley to one of the bottom teams in a league this year preseason, just to get it done. And it was first his first round pick, right? And he was. You know, a good play, a good team that went bad and not going to be good this year. Right. And and I this season, and I knew Saquon Maybe they had some highs. Obviously, but you give down. away Saquon and right. Saquon blows up. Sure. You just you know it's one, but it, there wasn't enough players on that roster to not be in the target area of where I want that draft pick to be. Um, so Olave in a first, a good if first. A, if it's a bo- let's just call it bottom six first. Probably yeah, because Olave's a stud. Or top six first, however you want to work yeah. that. Um, Devonta Smith and a first. I have, yeah. I mean, I can't argue with what's going on with Devonta Smith. I haven't exactly been as thrilled with him before because of his situation. Because it was stock up Jalen Hurts, but it's stock up. Well, no, he's supporting the, multiple. Well, I yeah. guess he, not really though. AJ Brown hasn't been spectacular the last. Couple there's weeks, your take turn situation. Mm-hmm. You can only there for a second though. They were. It was. I mean, he had one game where everybody fit got fed, but now it's like if you're going to bracket cover. You, you're not going to – Devonta Smith's too good of a route runner. It's like to, a T. Higgins chase. Right. Jamar if you're Chase gonna, if, type sitch. And see, you, the thing about the Eagles is it takes a whole squad to tackle A.J. Brown. So it ain't like you can and even hurts. put – it, it ain't like you can even put like that one – like stick to him like glue corner cornerback on him because even if he's there right. AJ he's, can just push him down he's T.O. so you you, exactly, you basically have to have two or three guys there to try to tackle him right so that means Devonta's over here one on one and he's gonna cut you up because that stick to you like glue nobody can stay with Smith and I just didn't know you know I didn't think Hertz would be throwing as as the volume would be there to feed everybody and of course it, you know we talk about Smith's best two games are AJ's worst two games. So there's your T. You Higgins know, still up. stock up hurts. T. Higgins straight up for Saquon. You need a little more. I'd love to get a look. They were going neck and neck and start up anyway. You know? Yeah, and some of them. They were right there beside each other. It's, I mean, T. Higgins was like WR6 or 7 off they the They both board. outperformed their 
80p so far for sure. Yeah, but although Saquon T. Higgins in really let more, me down this yeah, week. Yeah, Saquon in a much more consistent fashion. Uh, you know, every single week he's right there at the top. So I, but I'd a young wide this. receiver versus the middle aged no running doubt about back. I mean, there's long term. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's Higgins. But to make that trade, I'm going to be like, yo, you got to make, you got to put cherry on top because I got, I can go find a wide receiver. Yeah, yeah. 